Hey, how's it going, geeks? Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, yeah, I know it's been an eternity, but hey, we're back at it again. In this particular video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the brand new SRB miner. Well, it's not really brand brand new. It's about two and a half weeks old, but relatively new. I've been getting asked a lot by you subscribers on how to use this miner since it's pretty darn new. So there's not a whole lot of info or tutorials out there. And that's what I'm about to do right now. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So first and foremost, we need to go through this little section right here. As most of you are probably already aware, Monero recently had a hard fork and a lot of new proof of work algorithms came out of it. As you guys can see right here, the new SRB miner does support ev every single one of them. It supports the original Kryptonite, which you probably don't want to use since ASICs are completely dominating that uh, particular algorithm. The brand new Kryptonite V7 the Monero uses. We have Kryptonite Lite, which is the old uh, Aeon, Ion, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Uh, algorithm which is also dominated by ASIC so I would kind of shy away from it as well the brand new kryptonite light v7 and then these two guys right here kryptonite heavy and kryptonite ultra heavy in this particular video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to mine using kryptonite light v7 I will be making future videos showing you guys how to use the other algorithms as well so worry not they're coming like always guys, I'm going to have all the links down below in the description. So we're going to go ahead and click on the mega link, download the program, and extract it on our desktop. And then we'll go from there. Alright guys, so once you have your SRB miner zip file downloaded, drag it onto your desktop and extract it just like this. And then we don't really need the zip anymore, so I always like to just get rid of it. Once we have the file extracted, we're going to double click it. And inside of here, we're going to notice a bunch of different uh, applications and files. The only two applications you're going to use or files is going to be this little guy down here. This pre-made batch file that came with the miner and this configuration file up here. You can go ahead and ignore everything else. Don't worry about any of this whatsoever. So the first thing we're going to want to do is double click our configuration file. So as you guys can see up here, it's fairly easy to follow. It gives you, it practically tells you what to do. These little dash star lines essentially tell you what to do in the field down below. So up here it's asking you what type of algorithm you want. Obviously it's all going to depend on what coin you're mining. In this particular case I'm going to be mining Turtle Coin, which uses the new Kryptonite Light V7. So therefore I populated this down here. And after that we're going to choose the intensity. I'm, I'm going to be running Vega Frontiers. So in this file, you're going to want to populate 120. This should be the same for Vega 56s and Vega 64s as well. In this next section right here, we're going to type true since we're going to want to split the cards into two threads, just like XMR stack. So we're going to type true right here. Depending on whether you want to set a, a given uh, temperature target, you're going to move this. I generally leave it at zero since I like to manually adjust the fan speeds myself. I'm not going to be using SSL or TLS. So I'm going to leave this particular section as false. And then everything else is essentially just your pool's information. The pool address, which is right here. Your wallet. It's pretty straightforward. And your worker name or pool password. It really depends on the type of pool you're going to be mining on. Down here, I'm not going to be using any dev fees, so I just remove the 
the uh, I, I think it said Europe in here or whatever. I just took it off since I'm I'm not gonna be using a dev fee at all. Down below we're gonna have our hardware IDs, our intensity, work size, and thread per card. Um, in this particular case, we're just gonna delete everything out of here. You're probably asking, well, dude, why? How's the miner going to know what to apply to the cards? Well, here's the thing. The miner is going to automatically find a hardware ID. So you don't really need to worry about this number right here. We've already applied a intensity to every single card. Um, it's going to find the appropriate work size on its own. And we've already told it to use two threads up here. So anything else really doesn't do anything. So why bother having this whole mumbo jumbo down here? However, if you are running multiple multiple uh, different types of cards, you are going to want to manually adjust this. In this particular case, all my cards are exactly the same, so I don't really need it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this out of here. And I'm going to hit file, save. And that's pretty much all there is to it as far as the configuration is concerned. Now, if you want to remove the developer fee, you're going to have to add this little section right here to your batch file. Just right click it, hit edit. It's going to open it and then just paste this right next to your config.txt you're gonna hit file save and then you're gonna close it and that's it that's pretty much all there is to it it, it it's uh much more simple than uh xmr stack that's for sure it's really straightforward it gives you little explanations along the way and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. You just hit start and the miner should detect all your cards automatically. It should apply the intensity 120 on every single card. We told it to use two threads per card and the work size is set to eight. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You just wait for it to start mining and you're on your way. If you want to see your hash rate results, you just press H. And if you want to see uh, further statistics, you just press S. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We're up and running. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Peace.